Plaintiff Brittany Broderick says she tried to help out a friend, but got stuck with a slob who didn't pay rent and ruined her expensive makeup collection. She's suing for $1,000. Defendant Quisha Hollinshed claims she split after seeing her so-called friend getting cozy with her ex and claims she's getting sued out of spite. Now, how long have you guys been friends? We've met in school and we've just been friends ever since. Which is how many uh, years? I'd say like maybe about two, two years, three. How did you guys get together to room together? How did that all happen? So. She had an issue with her family, and she called me one night and asked if I can let her in. I said, sure. I was just coming home from work, and I said, just meet me there. And she moved in with me, and she did not pay the last of the rent, and she soaked my makeup in the bathroom sink. And oh, there's the makeup. It was soaked. Well, let's deal with the rent first. What was the agreement? As far as rent goes, uh, she would pay me 500 Okay, and how much was the rent? It's about 1200 so oh, okay. it is less than half of the rent. So she moved in when? She moved in about November. And when did you ask her to leave? It was in April, sometime in April. Sometime in April. Yeah. Okay, why did you ask her to leave? She was becoming a nuisance. And how is that? Yeah. Her clothes was um, thrown all over the place. She wasn't cleaning up after herself. She was paying her rent late. Now, when you said, could you please move out, how did that conversation go? I said, I'll give her some time to actually get, get her things and go. You and didn't she's, give me time. She asked you to leave. Now, what happened? Yeah, she's like getting her store mixed up. She lying. So it was actually March 15th. I March her, 15th, she asked you to leave? No, I left in March 15th. Because oh. I saw her at Starbucks with my ex. Ooh. Yeah. She didn't tell that part. So basically, um, I moved in her place November through yeah. March 15th. Um, she has a, we have a mutual friend, which was my boyfriend at the time. Yeah. And we were going through fights, arguments, and he ended up breaking up with me. Didn't okay. tell me why. And the day that I moved out, which was March 15th, I catch her at Starbucks with my ex. I don't know when you started drinking coffee, but, you know. We were communicating because of you. You were the issue. That's just an excuse to be a, a hoe. In any event, so you're saying you moved out March 15th? I did. Okay, so she saw you in Starbucks? Yeah. 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 And, and she moved out then? Yeah. But that's in March. You're suing for rent in April. All of her stuff was still there in the month of April. She was still staying there in the month of April. I was not. There was you, no need, no reason for me to be there after I saw where did you move to? Where did you go to? My other friend's house. Okay, that's one part of the case, because you're suing for $1,000, 500 because you say she owes you a month's rent. Yes. And, and the other 500 the is... The other half for... What happened with that? So I came in the night, and I came in from work. This is after you asked her to leave? Yes, yep, I came in from work, and just I look, can't look at you this. It. Look, okay. look at this. Yeah. So I came in um, from work one day, and that's when I realized all of her stuff was gone. So I, I noticed everything was gone. The rent wasn't on the counter. You just said I had stuff in your house in April. Okay. Make all of her sense. things were gone. The rent was not on the counter. And I go inside of the bathroom. This was soaked in the bathroom sink. She left her bag in the sink. Wait. Okay, but you turned on the sink. It would have After sink leaving, itself. He's, he's, he's talking to me. After I caught them at Starbucks, yes. I went home, grabbed my stuff. I was upset. Her bag was in the sink. Yeah. And I, I guess my, my elbow turned the sink on. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't feel sorry for her. So, so you admit doing it? I didn't admit for anything. Your makeup was in the sink. Already. And you turned the sink on. My elbow probably did, but okay. I didn't. Okay, let's hear from the elbow. <laughs> okay, here's how I see this. It sounds to me like you saw them in Starbucks, you got upset, mm -hmm. and you said, I'm out of here, and you left. But that was before she said, I want you out, before she, quote, evicted you. 
It was. If that was the case, then you still owed rent until she evicted you. Thank you. I didn't sleep there every night. That still was your still basic residence. So I'm inclined to say you would owe for part of that rent for April because you left before she told you to. If you just left on your own, you would owe for the month of April. You would owe for it until you gave her formal notice that you're gone. The second part has to do with the bag. If someone sees a bag in the sink, you just tell your elbows to behave yourself and you, you make sure you remove it before you turn on the water. And this makeup is expensive. I understand. So on that $500 part of your lawsuit, I'm giving you 250. On the rent, I'm giving you 250 as well, because she didn't stay the whole month. She wasn't living there, and you haven't given me proof of when you asked her to leave. I'm finding in your favor for the sum of $500. I feel like she shouldn't have gotten nothing. She doesn't deserve anything. I honestly would have liked to continue our friendship, but after all of this, no. It's an absolute no. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.